The color, Indigo Batik. The company, Sherwin-Williams. This is Hue Review. Now let's review. I'm James from The Paint People, and this is the color review show that aims to review every single color by some of the major paint companies out there. One down, 10,000 to go. <laughs> Hue Review is all about the three Vs. So we got vibe, versatility, and then ultimately, I'm gonna give you my verdict on this paint color. Indigo Boutique, what I use it in my home, how I would use it if I would. Let's get into it. Before we do that, here are some other paint company brands that have similar colors in their line. These aren't like spot on matches whatsoever. If you wanted to do that, you would have to go to your local paint store and get a custom match made. And even then it won't be 100% spot on. The only way to get Indigo Boutique perfectly is to just get it in Sherwin Williams paint. Sorry to tell you. But honestly, some of these minute differences between these colors, you may not even notice anyway. Sometimes I don't even notice. All right, so let's start with vibe. What is the vibe of this color? Well, Indigo Batik has kind of a similar vibe to this studio setup I have here. Darker. It's a darker vibe. This is a color that has quite a bit of depth to it, which gives it some richness and some saturation. And kind of like this space, I like to call it a cave-like appeal. This color really appeals to the cave dwellers. <laughs> that are watching. Now, we did mention that this is a dark color, but how dark is it? The LRV, the light reflectance value is eight. And that's the bottom 10% of all paint colors in terms of lightness or darkness. It's a very dark color. It's very, very deep. Don't think that this is a color that's gonna bring the light in. It's actually gonna do the opposite. It's gonna absorb 92% of the light that hits it. That was some good mental math right there. I'm quite fond of dark colors, to be honest, because of the fact that they have impact. You notice them like, oh, this is a color. It's not white, not primer. You didn't forget to paint your walls. You made a intentional choice. And I love some intentionalism. I do. Indigo Batik is part of the blue family of colors, if you haven't noticed. The blue family of colors is pretty varied. You have true blues that are a little more straight down the middle. You got your purple leaning blues, which are a little more denim feeling. That's how they are sometimes categorized. And then on the other end, you have your more green leaning blues, which kind of go into teal territory. I would say Indigo Batik is pretty blue, but if anything, it does have just a touch of that denim blue feel to it. Perhaps a little more contemporary feeling. I feel that people are starting to appreciate purple leaning blues a lot more now compared to maybe five years ago where teal was all the rage. You could say that this color is fairly trendy, but not so much that it's going to be completely out next year. It has some timelessness to it, I feel, because navy blue is always going to be in style, especially if you like it. Then it's always in style to you, which is what really matters. And also, side note, batik is, uh, I believe, a type of Indonesian fabric that uses wax or something, but it's very saturated, beautiful, beautiful fabric. So this color is derived from that, which I think is really interesting as well. A little fun tidbit there. So the vibes, they're pretty good here. What about versatility? How versatile is this color in interior and exterior projects? From the interior side of things, I would give Indigo Batik a mid. It is a decently versatile paint color. It's not something that you would maybe use all over your home, on the walls. It is not going to be a great ceiling color, probably not an awesome choice for your doors and your trim in a lot of cases, unless you're going for something very avant-garde. But for those spaces where you do want something with some oomph, you want an accentuating color that can draw the eye, that doesn't feel too vibrant and headache inducing. It has a fairly mellow aspect to it. I think this could be a great choice. So even though it's not going to be the color you can throw everywhere, for the spaces that you want a blue, Indigo Batik happens to be like one of my favorite dark blues in the Sherwin-Williams line. I really enjoy the color. Now what about the exterior side of things? How versatile is it outside? I would probably give it another mid. I am surprised to say that because bright saturated blues outside, maybe it's a bit much, but hey, on siding, I think it would look wonderful. Maybe even as a front door color, it could work or like on patio furniture. But yeah, there are some cases where even as a main body color, Indigo Batik could totally work in those more coastal towns that really have some saturated colors popping through. I think it's a great choice and an awesome alternative to something more muted. If you want some color and you want it to just bring the color into your neighborhood, <laughs> make sure you test it out before you actually paint your house first though. Uh, I gotta say that. <laughs> exterior projects are very expensive, so before you get your 10 gallons to paint your exterior or maybe more, get a tester first, test it the color just to see what it actually looks like on your home. Okay, so what's the verdict on this? Um, yeah, I'm pretty positive on this color. I do like it. 
quite a bit. How would I use it, first of all? If we look at the palette pyramid, where would indigo batik go in a lot of cases? Almost always, I would call this a finishing color. This is an accent color that you would use in the special parts of your home that you want to stand out. And you can use it on your walls. You can use it on kitchen cabinets if you really wanted to, especially on lower halves and islands and you know, all over, really. Built-ins, vanities, and then accent walls. So maybe you like the cooler color scheme. You wanted a dark blue to go on the wall that didn't look muted and desaturated. You wanted something, some nice presence to it. Indigo Batik is very, very much a high candidate for that purpose. And it's a color that I want to use sparingly, but I think it would really add to a color palette because it is both saturated, but still somewhat familiar, which I think is nice as well. So that's how I'd use it. But would I? Is Indigo Batik a paint color I could see myself using in my home at some point? N yes. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think if I was looking for a navy blue, a dark blue, Indigo Batik would definitely be on that list. I'd probably have to test it out compared to your Gentleman's Grey, your Hag Blue, all the main heavy hitters, and then a few wild cards as well. But honestly, Indigo Batik is a color that I keep recommending to people when they do need a beautiful blue by Sherwin-Williams. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a palette pyramid on Indigo Batik. Just let me know and then I'll build it for you guys magically on the screen. And if you missed our first episode of Hue Review, it's right over here.